So we're at the Bridge of the Gods. Bridge of the Gods? Yeah. Bridge, bridge of the Gods. Bridge of the Gods? God? Bridge oh. of the Gods? <laughs> Alright, Bridge of the Gods. I think that's it. Hi, my name is Lee. And this is B. We love to travel. And we have very strong opinions. This place is so beautiful, I want to punch it in the face! So we took it upon ourselves to visit some of the highest rated places on the internet to make sure they were really worth visiting so that you don't have to. You're welcome. It's not worth it. This week, we're taking a trip to Columbia River Gorge. This spot on the map extends more than 10 miles east of Portland and creates the northern border that separates Oregon from Washington. It is the largest national scenic area in the U.S. and we couldn't possibly cover all that ground in the few short days that we were here. Heck, we couldn't even cover that much ground in one episode, so we split it in two and we're showing you the highlights. Let's start off with the Vista House, the self-proclaimed crown jewel of the Columbia River Gorge. Originally built in 1917, the Vista House was built as a rest stop for weary travelers on the old Columbia Gorge Highway. The Vista House sits 733 feet above the Columbia River, which makes for a killer view. Let's say there were too many people at the Vista House and you couldn't find any parking. Well, about a mile away is the Chanticleer Point, and if you squint, you can actually see the Vista House from here. See? There it is. There's a women's farm, all these women here. It's mostly misses. Miss, there's one, oh, Dr. Dr. Morgan Odell. Go ahead, Dr. Odell. Do your thing, girl. The internet tells me that Rooster Rock State Park provides three miles of river access. The river swimming serves visitors who want that natural experience. It's even more natural the further east you go, where you find one of Oregon's two designated clothing optional beaches. Maybe that's why they call it Rooster Rock. For better or worse, we didn't see any of that. All we saw was this. After finding no roosters, we decided to venture on. But something tells me we'll be back during swimsuit season. Our next stop was La Terrell Falls. It's one of the closest major Columbia River Gorge waterfalls to Portland. So if you want to see a waterfall from your car, it's the place to be. It's also one of the most photogenic. It's a tall single plunge waterfall of 224 feet. And it's also one of the few waterfalls that you can get this close to. There are some waterfalls that you don't need to get out of your car for. But for the Montnomah Falls, you don't even have to pull off the highway. Unfortunately, there was construction going on, so we couldn't get too close. But don't worry, we were here last year, and here are a few pictures to prove it. A few more miles east takes us to the aptly named Bridge of the Gods. You may recognize it from the 2014 film Wild starring Reese Witherspoon. Or you might not. I never saw it. But as of this taping, it has a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes.
We're at the Bridge of the Gods. Right now we're in Oregon. But if you cross this bridge, you're in Washington State. And every day, immigrants from Washington State cross over into Oregon in search of a better life. It really makes you think. So we just stopped by a Ridgeside restaurant with some grilled cheese and some fries. A great hamburger, the best ketchup in the world. And look at this view, huh? How do you beat it? Not impressed by that view? Well, how about this one? Impressive. This is Mosaic Creek Falls. Apparently, people dive off the cliff and swim here in the summer. The Mosaic Plateau includes 44 acres of protected land. So according to our map, this is the Mosaic Falls swimming hole. I do not advise you swim here. Past the waterfall, the trail begins a steady upward climb towards the Moser Plateau. Once you reach the top, you'll be greeted with breathtaking views of the Columbia River Gorge. I'm not at the top yet. It takes a lot more walking. Come on. Seriously, it was a lot more walking than I was prepared to do. But once you get to the top, this is what you see. This, this, this is what it's all about. Get out here in nature, be in the fresh air, the interview. Don't forget to watch next week when we show you part two, where we travel 30 miles south of Columbia River Gorge to Mount Hood. See you next Tuesday.